Hey everyone, we are here in San Francisco at Google's Pixel 2 event. Uh, as you might expect, the company showed off the Pixel 2 smartphone, the Pixel 2 XL, a wildly expensive new laptop called the Pixelbook, two new Google Home speakers, some new earbuds, a camera, a whole host of other stuff. There's a lot to dig into, so stay with us here. This is the new Pixelbook. It's an extremely small and light laptop that runs Chrome OS. It is about 2.2 pounds and it's super thin and light. It's got a convertible hinge, flips all the way around so you can go into tablet mode or you know watch a video like this. Uh, but the way most people will probably use it is like a normal laptop. In that sense, it looks really great. The screen is very high resolution, very clear. It's a touch screen like uh, the Chromebook Pixel before it. And Google is also selling a Pixelbook pen here. So the first time Google is making a stylus to go with their Chromebook, this is the Pixelbook pen. It's a $99 accessory that lets you, uh, you know, draw on the screen. It has super good latency in the tests I've tried so far. You can also use it in like highlight parts of the screen and it'll take that section, dump it into Google Assistant and run a search on it for you, give you more info. Uh, right there, Google Pixel product line. It's in the right ballpark here for a first test anyway. Uh, moving on from there, that hardware just feels really great. The keyboard is excellent. I spent some time typing on it. Uh, it feels like the travel's a little thin, sort of like the new MacBooks, but I was very fast and accurate on it right off the bat. The hardware runs really fast because it's got a Core i5 processor in here. Um, they say battery life lasts about 10 hours. Screen is brilliant, as I already mentioned. And there's a new uh, button here that brings up the Google Assistant. You can start typing right in here or scroll down to see the rest of the apps you have installed. Speaking of apps, this device supports Google Play and Android apps. So you can install things like the uh, sort of Android Gmail app which lets you kind of put your email in a separate place outside of your browser. Uh, they've got Word installed here as well. Uh, Spotify, basically anything that'll run on an Android phone will work here for the most part. Maybe not perfectly right off the bat, but they've been working on getting this performance to work better over time. And it's definitely for the certain few things that you can't do just using Chrome, it'll, it'll help you uh, get more stuff done here. Word actually works really well if you pop this open here. Uh, it basically looks, you know, looks like Word, saves, syncs to the cloud, you're all good to go. So yeah, this is the Pixelbook. It starts at $999. That gets you a Core i5 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, and 128 gigs of storage. That should be enough for basically anybody, but you can step up to 256 or 512 gigs of storage, uh, get a Core i7, and up to 16 gigs of RAM if you have the money to spend on it.